Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Uh, We're continuing a little mini series in the midst of this series, a word for the day, unpacking this this, uh, long explanation from the Apostle Paul on the nature and significance of who Jesus is in Colossians chapter one. So I'm gonna read that again. We're gonna pick one verse out of this to look at today, uh, but I wanna read the entirety of this for us yet again. And if you've missed uh, the the video on verse 15 and 16, you can find that yesterday and the day before and uh, catch back up. But it says this, verse 15, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. And he's referring to Jesus. He says, for by him, all things were created on heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things and in him, all things hold together. That's the verse we're going to look at today. Verse 18, he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him, all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether in heaven or on earth, making peace by the blood of the cross. Incredible statements. Again, if you haven't yet, read this. Uh, Leverage some study notes if you've got a study Bible or a commentary, but absorb this. Verse 17, we're going to focus on this today. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Now this is such a big idea that, again, we could unpack, but briefly this shows us that God is present in our world. He's engaged with what's going on. He is present. He says, sustaining and holding all things together. It, that Jesus, who was part of creation along with God the Father, they didn't create our world that we live in and then say, hey, it's all yours. Go figure it out. But instead, they're present. But Jesus himself is, is present in our world, holding all things together, which some have even brought over into the realm of sciences and, and questioned, does this verse explain some of the, the missing understandings of molecular biology of what holds an atomic nucleus together? What causes that bond? Is it the supernatural interceding and holding things together at the molecular level? I don't know, but I do know that this means that, that God is present in our life. He's present in our life to, to sustain us, to give us the needs and the, the, the support that we need to go through every day. When we have high points, low points, when we're overwhelmed, when we're stuck, he's present. He's, he's present to correct us and bring truth in our life. He wants to hold us together by bringing truth and rebuke when we wander away from the path he has for us. He's present in our life to guide us and continue to to lead us to the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, scripture says. He's present in our life to bless us. James says every good and perfect gift comes from the Father above. He's got us present in our life. And I hope that you just sit with the fact that I don't know what your day is either looks like if you're watching this in the morning or looked like if you're watching this at the end of the day. But I do know this, that whatever you're going to face or did face today, Jesus was present, that he was there, that he was working to hold all things together, even if you felt like you were living in the middle of a hurricane, he was present. So will you acknowledge that? Will you acknowledge that he's present and start listening to his voice calling you, leading you, guiding you to live for him? Because at the end of the day, that's what we all want. If we all want a a good life, we find that by following Jesus. And the good news is that he's present in our life to guide us, to sustain us, to bless us, to help us. So find hope in that today and learn to follow his voice as he seeks to lead and sustain you. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.